At the work site, the control objectives are to keep the airborne asbestos fiber concentration to a minimum and to confine all asbestos waste within a controlled area. To do this, a controlled access to the rip-out site must be established to keep all unprotected personnel from entering. An approved asbestos caution sign must be placed to indicate the location of the hazardous area. I'm ready to go in now, Nancy. Okay, don't forget to put your respirator on before the rip out starts. There's the next one down below. Oh, sure thing. Thanks. Inside the controlled area, very exacting engineering and work practice control measures must be exercised to prevent the buildup of airborne fibers. Breathing air manifolds must be conveniently placed to provide service to all workers in the controlled area. A special local exhaust ventilation system must be installed that will create a slight negative air pressure within the ripout space. The ventilation system must be installed in accordance with the current edition of OPNAV Instruction 6260. The system must use a high efficiency particulate air filter to prevent spreading asbestos fibers into the atmosphere. Drop claws must be strategically placed to catch and contain asbestos dust and waste materials. Portable asbestos vacuum cleaners must be placed for use at each ripout location. This special vacuum cleaner uses a sophisticated and expensive microfiltering system designed to catch the smallest asbestos fibers. These units are tested prior to each issue and use at the worksite. This is Mr. Brooks, insulator. We're going to commence an asbestos ripout in one MMR. At the time the actual ripout is to begin, notify the quarter deck watch. Tell him the exact location at which the ripout operation will take place. Also, notify the watch again when the ripout has been completed. Have the ship's general ventilation system to the controlled area shut down. Seal off all ductwork, intake, and outlet vents with plastic film and tape. During the ripout, workers must make every effort to minimize the buildup of airborne fibers. For small-scale ripouts, use a hand-operated water sprayer to wet down the material which is to be cut and removed. For larger jobs, a hose bed sprayer will be necessary. After wetting down the surfaces to be cut, use a cast cutter with attached local exhaust system to cut the material into manageable sized pieces. Vacuum the area continuously to prevent as much dust as possible from becoming airborne. Use minimum force to rip out cut sections in order to keep dust formation to a minimum. After removing the desired sections of lagging, seal the exposed ends remaining on the pipe to prevent accidental release of fibers until new insulation is installed. <laughs> 